Just can't wait. Uh, we've got an extraordinary economic challenge uh, ahead of us. Uh, we're expecting a sobering job report uh, at the end of the week. Uh, the Speaker and her staff have been extraordinarily helpful in uh, working with our team so that we can shape an economic recovery and reinvestment plan that starts putting people back to work. And uh, you know, I can't think of a better partner in doing uh, what is necessary to get this economy back on track than uh, Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who's just been an extraordinary advocate for working people all her life. So. Thank you very much, Mr. President-elect. It is a, a great honor and a personal privilege to welcome you to the Speaker's office. Tomorrow, we will swear in a new Congress. Uh, we'll be uh, hit the ground running on the initiatives that you, some of which you described, to just address some of the uh, pain being felt by the American people. And then two weeks from tomorrow, uh, we will not, uh, inaugurate a new President of the United States. As the President-elect indicated, the construction is underway right now. Uh, and at that time, we will be able to have signed into law legislation which will improve the lives of the American people. It's a very, very exciting time. We pledge to work together in a bipartisan way with great civility, with great fiscal discipline. And uh, I know the debate will be spirited. We welcome it. And I congratulate the President-elect on his success, on the appointment of his cabinet, uh, on the transition, and look forward to his inauguration. Are we taking questions no, there, Robert Gibbs? They're leaving now. I don't think we're taking questions, guys, but I'm going I'm to have a uh, news avail later in the day. So. Uh, uh, we're going we're, we're to do an avail uh, later. later in the day. Bye. All right. Thank, Thank you so much, guys.